We're gonna be breaking down the editing in VFX on the brand new Yeet Set It Off music video. Let's hop right into it. So starting off at the very beginning, we're gonna go with the iconic head explosion effect, which is honestly so clean, but I have to shout out Jamo Effects and Antonio NYC. I learned how to do the head exploding effect from Jamo's tutorial and Antonio came up with the assets himself. So I highly recommend you guys go subscribe to them. They'll be linked below, but we're gonna be recreating this head explosion effect here on this clip right here. So to get started, we're gonna to cut to the frame that we want. So let's go with something like that there. And then we're gonna open this inside of After Effects by right clicking, replacing with an After Effects composition. All right, so now that we're inside After Effects, we're gonna get started by bringing in the assets here. These will be linked below as well. So as you guys can see, we have the main head exploding effect. We have blood on the screen. Then we have a gunshot, which one we're not gonna use. So to get started, what you wanna do is you wanna go over to Content Aware Fill, and we're gonna key out the area that we wanna have Content Aware Filled. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down to 50% here. And let's go with this area right here. So once you guys have your subject's head masked out, what you want to do is open up masks down here and invert the mask. So the black area is around his face. Then you want to go over to Content Aware Fill and hit Generate Fill Layer. This is going to take a bit of time to do depending on the speed of your computer. And boom, we have our fill layer generated. Now it doesn't look the greatest, but we don't have to worry about that. His head peeks out a little bit there, but just for the sake of this tutorial, guys, uh, you want to make sure and watch it through and make sure you have the entire thing masked. So now what we want to go ahead and do, as you guys can see, if we turn that on and off, we want to duplicate the layer that has the mask on it. And then we want to go ahead and delete the mask. So to get started, what we want to do is have his regular head just like so. And then we're going to drag on this blood explosion effect here. Then as soon as this head disappears, we're gonna go into scale and moving our tools, we're gonna move this right where his head is. And then as you guys can see, it's kind of like a rough cutoff here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this area as well. Just like so. And then inside of masks here, we're gonna open up the mask and we're gonna add a feather. And then going ahead and adding this other asset on top of it as well. And scaling it down and bringing it in a little bit later here. You can get a pretty unique effect just like this. Now for the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, create a new layer and then create an adjustment layer here. And we're gonna be using Shake Sauce to add some shakes just to hide the imperfections. So instead of window extensions, we're gonna open up Shake Sauce. Now inside of Shake Sauce here on top of our adjustment layer, we're gonna go over to all, and then we're gonna look for the quick hit with flash and I'm gonna double click that. Then hitting U on my keyboard, I'm gonna align the keyframe so the middle one is right in the center here. As you guys can see there, that hides a lot of the imperfections. And if you guys want as well, I do recommend moving this layer to the side like so. And then maybe moving it here a bit. Just honestly mess around with it until you get it to your liking. I think that looks great right there. Now to add the little extra little bit of sauce to it, we're gonna go ahead and color grade it like they had it in the video by adding another adjustment layer, putting it above everything and then opening up Lumetri Color. We're gonna drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer here. And let's fit this to full. So we're going to go into creative here and under look, we're going to hit none and we're going to hit browse and we're going to be using my ultimate love pack to color this. If you guys want to go check it out, it's linked in the description below. So inside of the ultimate LUT pack, we have one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs. We're going to go ahead and pick a random LUT here. Let's go with 102. And I already think that kind of matches the video. We just have to tone it down a little bit on the oranges. As you guys can see here, the video is very blue. So we're going to go ahead and fix that inside of After Effects here. We're going to go into our curves and we're going to set our curves to red. And we're going to create three points just like so. We're going to go ahead and bring this one down. Bring this one down. And bring this one down. Then we're going to create three points for our blues. Gonna bring them up just like so and then closing our curves and going into basic correction now what we can do is turn down the whites a bit lean the temperature more towards blue so we get rid of that orange 
lean more towards pink over here. Bring the exposure down. So we already have a very similar grade right there. I just think the blood needs to be colored a little bit more so it's red, but I honestly think it matches the way it exploded in the flash effect going on, which I'll show you guys how to do here as well. We're gonna go in, hit new adjustment layer, and then we'll apply brightness and contrast on here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the brightness all the way up, just like so. Then we're gonna go into effects here, click on brightness and contrast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna option click on the brightness here, then we're gonna go to the end and hit enter. We're gonna type in wiggle and we're gonna click on the one with the bracket here, double click on it. And we're gonna make this 150 comma 150, enter. Now once we have this set, you guys could see we have our flicker effect on there. And we're gonna make it a little bit more intense now by doing 300 on the first one. I think that looks great there guys, going with 20 and 300. And now all we have to do to wrap it up to look like the video is add some film grain. I'm gonna have my film emulation pack linked below where I get my film grain from. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that in. And then we're gonna hit S and scale it down so it fits. I'm going to go ahead and toggle the switches and modes and I'm going to change this to overlay here and boom, we have the effect just like that from the video. All it needs is a little bit of sound design, which you guys can honestly figure out on your own. And that is the effect there, guys. And we have our head exploding effect done. We're going to move into the very next one here, guys, which is color grading specifically for this room and for the rest of the video. So like I showed you guys before, it's a very bluish tint in this room. And then when you go to other scenes like this here, it has a very orange tint. Now you guys can get this on your footage, for example, like on this here. What you can do is if you go into Lumetric Color here, you'll have your temperatures like this. So what I recommend doing to get a tone like the video is just turning on the saturation and then leaning the temperature towards blue and then turning up the contrast to make it more blue, turn down the shadows, add some pink in there. And boom, we have a look just like the video. Very simple, just like that. And it's more of a tealy blue. You guys can get that by going into the curves right here, making your three points, and then just playing around with them. All right, now moving on to the very next effect here, guys, we have these heat wave flame effects. Now, I'm sure a lot of the fire in this video is actually real, but if you guys do want to get the heat wave effect that distorts the vision like this, as you guys could see, you kind of have that real life effect with it warping. If you have Red Giant Universe, you can drag and drop on effect called Heat Wave. I am on a new computer and I don't have it. I have it on my old computer, but you just search Heat Wave here, drag and drop it on and set it to slow if you have Red Giant Universe. Moving on to the very next effect here, guys, we have this fire composition, which looks really good. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do this inside of After Effects. And we have this stock footage here that we're gonna be doing the effect on. So to get started, what we wanna do is we're gonna rotoscope out this car here as this car is what we're gonna be adding the fire behind and then color grading and everything else that's gonna come with it afterwards. So to do this, what we're gonna do is click on our clip, press Control D to duplicate it. And then on the very top one, we're gonna double click on it, go up to our roto brush and we're gonna start rotoing it out. All right, now that we have our car rotoed out, we're basically just gonna go through and make sure the roto is consistent throughout the entire clip. which it is. So now we're going to go ahead and hit freeze to freeze the roto brush. And this is going to take a little bit to do, but I highly recommend you guys do this when you're using your roto brush. It basically just makes it as you're editing stuff and as you're comping stuff in, it doesn't re-render the roto brush every time. It just renders it once and leaves it as it is. All right, so now we have our roto brush done here, guys. What we're going to do is go back into our composition. We're going to download some fire assets. So basically just going on YouTube, I found these fire particles here that we could use. I'm going to go ahead and download those. And then I'm going to download this flame as well here and then just dragging and dropping them into After Effects. We're going to go and change them onto screen. Now that we have them on screen, we're going to turn them off and then just turn on the ones we want to work with first. So I'm basically just going to move this one until it's a way bigger fire, just like so. And we're going to place it behind the car here. Then we're going to press S and scale it up just like so. And I highly recommend that you, when you guys are doing this, you use higher quality fire assets compared to the one that I'm using. I just downloaded this one from YouTube. You guys can get some really high quality ones on the internet 
for cheap. I just didn't want to spend money on any. So to make this look better, what we're going to do is we're going to add a deep glow to it. That's pretty much what they did in the video to make it have that glowing effect. And then also feel free to go into Lumetri Color as well and tweak with it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and bring down, bring up the contrast just to make it pop a little bit more. And then bring down the shadows and then bring up the whites. And that looks way better as a fire. And then if we go ahead and add on this overlay as well that we have here, you have that looking beautiful like always. And now all this needs is just a little bit of color grading to get it looking like the video. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new adjustment layer here and drag and drop a lumetric color on that. Let's go into basic correction here and just right, at, right away make the tint more orange. Turn the shadows down, turn the saturation down a little bit. Turn the contrast, turn the shadows down some more. Turn the blacks down and boom, we already have an effect just like the video. All it needs is some sound design to make it a lot better. And that was basically the fire effect there, guys. All it needs is some uni heat wave to tie everything together. Next, we have this head shaking effect, which can be, which is pretty much done in camera most of the time, but all it is is a camera with low shutter where the guy's moving his head really fast. You can change your shutter speed, you usually have it set to, let's say you're shooting 24 FPS, one over 50, or if you're shooting 60 FPS, one over 120. So you want to set it to one over five for this and just have your person move his head really fast like so with a strobing light. As you guys could see, we have a light coming from the side here, and we also have a light coming from the front that's very intense. And if you want to add a little bit more and they also have the blue light going on as well so we have the regular and the blue and this is all done in camera guys just cut really fast and sped up and then for this next effect here we have a sound design effect which is really cool so as you can see the song plays on and then it goes into a low pass which brings the song down and then they have sound effects come in So all that was was a low pass on the song and then a breathing sound effect was brought in. I'll show you guys how to do the low pass. The breathing sound effect is pretty self-explanatory. So let's go to this part right here. So I'm just going to cut that and we'll do it on this clip here. So all we want to do is go up here, search up low pass, and we're going to drag and drop that on the audio here. Now going into effect controls, we're going to want to set it at the highest amount it goes to, which is this number right here. And then we want to click on our cutoff, have it at the very beginning, the highest amount it can go to. And then right about here, let's bring it down to around 5,000 and see how that sounds. So that already brings it down there, guys, just to show you guys the full effect intensity. Let's bring it down to something like 1,000. You guys can really see what the effect does here. It really sounds like it's underwater. It's a super cool way to add more of a vibe to your videos, especially when you add in the breathing sound effects. It really just pulls you away and focuses on what's going on actually in the video with the sound design. And that was my breakdown of the brand new Yeet music video. If you guys enjoyed this and want to watch more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe and all the editing packs and more that I use in this will be on my website below. Also, go follow Jamo VFX and Antonio. They'll be linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.